Some breaking news right now in the money lead. A CNN investigation on the 737 MAX uncovers a history of issues, with one component being blamed for the deadly crash. Now, Boeing insists there is nothing wrong with the plane's design, and they blamed pilots for not following proper procedure. But these questions come as Boeing is suffering a 10% drop in its stock. CNN senior investigative correspondent Drew Griffin shows us just what was uncovered. A CNN analysis of FAA data is raising questions about how Boeing could have designed a flight safety system on its 737 MAX, centered on just one sensor with a history of failures. The MCAS system is designed to prevent a plane from stalling. It's triggered by one of two AOA sensors which read the plane's angle in flight. But if that AOA sensor gives an incorrect reading, the MCAS could activate, automatically pitching the nose of the plane down repeatedly as the pilots struggle for control. Investigators in the crashes of the Lion Air and Ethiopian Airlines crashes suspect that scenario started a chain of events that led to both tragedies. Just why Boeing would have no backup for a single sensor with a terrible track record has aviation experts baffled. This is a fairly simple external device can get damaged on a regular basis. In fact, a CNN review of FAA records shows AOA sensors had problems on at least 216 flights since 2004, sometimes forcing pilots to make emergency landings or abort takeoffs. 42 of them happened on Boeing planes. And here's proof Boeing knew these sensors were prone to problems. Two separate FAA airworthiness directives involved Boeing planes in 2013 and 2016, before the 737 MAX crashes, ordered inspections or changes to AOA sensors because of an unsafe condition that could lead to problems with control of the airplane. Far too often, it takes a tragedy to connect the dots and say, you know, we really ought to take a hard look at the design of this piece of equipment. Boeing says its new software fix includes input from two AOA sensors being in agreement before the system would activate. Though Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg says that is not an admission of an initial design flaw. We haven't seen a, you know, a technical slip or gap in terms of the fundamental design and certification. But CNN has learned Boeing never flight tested a scenario in which the AOA sensor malfunctioned. A former Boeing test pilot tells CNN, apparently we missed the ramifications of the failure of that AOA probe. Potential failure conditions were instead analyzed in the design and certification, according to another source familiar with the testing, and it was determined trained pilots would have been able to handle the failure. It should have been in the test program right up front to expose that problem. Aviation expert Peter Lemme, who was subpoenaed by a grand jury in an investigation into the 737 MAX, says he doesn't understand why it took two fatal crashes for Boeing to make changes. This is the part that I find almost uh, incredible because um, AOA vanes have been on the airplanes for many, many years. It's, it's a well-known failure. Boeing CEO says the 737 MAX was designed safely, but that the proper procedures were not completely followed by the pilots. When we design a system, understand that these airplanes are flown in the hands of pilots. And in some cases, our system safety analysis includes not only the engineering design, but also the actions that uh, pilots would take. But when pressed on why Boeing is admitting no flaws in its design, the CEO walked out of the press conference. 346 people died. Can you answer a few questions here about that? Jake, the FAA, the Department of Justice, and Congress have all opened investigations looking precisely at how this plane was designed and how it was able to get proper government clearance with what now appears to be flaws. A government official I talked to just an hour ago said this has serious implications for Boeing. He's going to have to answer questions sooner or later, if not from us, from members of Congress. Drew Griffin, thank you so much. Appreciate